when you're choosing your first piece to play in your audition, I think that you should choose something which you feel the most comfortable with, something which, you know, will set you up to play well for the rest of the audition. I think the first step to prepare for your audition is to ch choose your repertoire. You have to make sure that the pieces that you choose fulfills the requirements. I felt like it was most important to have that element of, of showcasing your best talents but also having a real emotional connection to the piece. In preparing for my auditions, a big key point was organization. You may be asked to play any parts of your program. It, it doesn't have to be the beginning. It could be any part. It could be the end. In order to prepare for my Juilliard audition, I went through a lot of mock auditions. I would do probably about one audition per week for a panel of my friends. The jury wants to enjoy your performance. They're not like taking notes of the bad stuff you do. You take notes on the good stuff. By your playing, you show them that I love music. My Juilliard audition was on Valentine's Day of 2009. One of the teachers who teaches the class for auditions came in and he just said, okay dancers, have fun, and then he walked right out the room. If you go into an audition and you feel the same way as you do when you're taking class, then it doesn't become an audition anymore. It becomes just a normal part of your life. Um, in trying to attain consistency in my auditions, I find it important to have certain habits or rituals isn't the right word, but certain things that I, I do and I keep the same. Before I audition, I have you know 10 songs that I'll listen to Whatever it is that gets you inspired to do whatever you're going to do, then make sure that you do that and make sure that you're in your own space. It's a process. Everything's a process. Um, even when you come here, it's a four-year process. So really thinking about the process. I chose the monologues I wanted to present in the summer before the final spring auditions. Um, because I knew that for me, I would be more comfortable in the room the more time I had to sit on the monologues and think about them and prepare them. I also had a wide variety of experience. I did a monologue from Pericles, but the later end of Pericles where he's an old man and he's talking <laughs> to his daughter, I knew it was something they weren't gonna look at me and say, he should play Pericles, that older man part. No, I knew that wasn't what they were gonna, weren't gonna see when I walked in the door, but I was like, no, I connected to this and this is what I'm gonna do. As I heard from a teacher just the other night talking about additions, that they're not looking to eliminate people, they're looking to accept people. One of the best pieces of audition advice I've ever gotten is to always have something to do after the audition. Like, always have somewhere fun to go or someone to see so that, you know, the audition isn't your whole day. The audition process is a long process. It, it's long, the initial, the initial process is all day, and then you're waiting for a couple months to get called back and to do a two-day audition. What are you going to do that's going to help you be more consistent? This is your time. You're auditioning this school just as much as uh, they're auditioning you.